St. Patrick's Day is more than just pinching and green beer. Here in Billings, tradition runs pretty deep. The history of the St. Patrick Co. Cathedral goes all the way back to September of 1905 when ground broke for its present church in downtown Billings. As our David J. reports, its name coupled with the holiday creates quite the opportunity to celebrate. The St. Patrick's Day Parade traditionally goes down 3rd Avenue North, and this is a special place right here with another celebration and honoring that happens inside St. Patrick's Co Cathedral. Many in Billings enjoy St. Patrick's Day, and inside the parish, there is a statue of the patron St. Patrick. Father Leo McDowell says St. Patrick was a slave who was kidnapped and found his way back home around 300 AD. He's responsible for the conversion of the Irish to Christianity. And that's, that's why we honor him in the Catholic Church, is for that element of, of that. His, his life, his dedication, his service to the people of Ireland. St. Patrick celebrates because it is named after St. Patrick. It will hold a special mass and the congregation will enjoy some Irish stew after the service. But Father McDowell says all the saints can be celebrated and pass on similar lessons. We look at it as a challenge to us of what can we do to spread the gospel and have that same sense of love for his people and help them see Christ that he had. And so any of the saints that we celebrate are meant to be role models for us. McDowell says for many, celebrating their Irish heritage became important because they were mistreated. Part of it is, is that whole sense of developing that sense of Irish pride that they want to hold on to and keep that pride going and St. Patrick gave them that opportunity when they came to, to the United States. St. Patrick and his lessons for Irish and Catholics became important around the U.S. and in Montana. A lot of the priests who served here can go back and say, yeah, St. Patrick hadn't gone to Ireland. It'd be a whole different story for the way America looks and the way our churches in America look. In Billings, David J, MTN News.